Hello, here we're looking at how we might be able to make our WordPress pages load a little bit faster with or without a plugin. There is a blog post that goes with this and I'll be linking to that below this video. And it is also part of my series where I'm showing how I'm using WP Codebox, which is a code snippets plugin in my builds. Let's take a look at what we're trying to do here today. I've created this about page, just a mock-up one. And if we go into the inspector I can show you what is actually needed to display this page and what is being outputted by WordPress by default which isn't needed so if we take a look from the top here the actual page right down to WP code box that is all that is actually needed WP code box I'm using to output some SAS CSS here everything below that is the defaults that come from WordPress which in this case isn't needed to display this page so I'd be looking to see what I can sensibly remove. And obviously there's a lot of considerations with this because this might be needed in other places. But as you can see here, this is the uncompressed byte. So it's a little bit exaggerated, but you can see that what I actually need is much less than what is getting outputted by default. So I want to do something about that. And I'm going to start with the first thing, which I kind of mentioned in my last video. So I'm going to repeat some of this, but it's from a different point of view. So I'm looking first at the CSS that Gutenberg or the block editor outputs by default. And we can see it is, it's obviously something that's getting loaded to the head. So it is like most of these things here in Google's terms, a render blocking resource, something that Google PageSpeed Insights will flag up. And it's uh, 103 kilobytes, but it's not just that as well. There are some inline styles which go with this, and I'll just quickly cover those here. So if I go past this, there's the star sheet that's added. And then we've got these inline styles which go down here, then another batch as well for global styles. And then in addition to that, we have another batch of code here, which is blank SVGs. And they're really not needed on this page where I'm using a page builder. So it's absolutely unnecessary. So I want to remove this. Now I mentioned this in my last video, which was really, I guess, aimed at people who want to disable Gutenberg. And I was talking about a better way. So you remove the styles, which the classic editor doesn't do. A lot of people will not think they need this because they may be a common thing that I see is they're using a page builder on the pages and they want to keep the block editor for their posts. And I talked in that about another plugin, a great plugin called Disable Gutenberg by Jeff Starr. And I could have implied in that video, and in fact, I wasn't too sure myself that this might solve the problem with the styling. What it does above the classic editor plugin is that it does remove styles, but it does it globally here. So there are some conditions, let's have a look at this, where you can decide I'm not going to have Gutenberg running on my pages, but I will have it on my posts. But when it comes to the actual styles themselves, they're global, so you, you would you have to totally disable them for the whole site, or you can't do that just by posts or pages. And there isn't, as far as I know, a plugin that will allow us to just disable those stars conditionally. So you're really left with the option of either taking the kind of script that I've put over here and then writing your own conditional so this shows where you need it to do. But if you're using the WP Codebox plugin, it makes it so much easier. So even someone like me can do this. So what I've done is I've taken this script here. It's just, it's not disabling Gutenberg. It's just removing those styles from the front end. And what I've done, I'm in that now, I can go to the conditions builder and I can pretty much set up any type of condition. I can just have this script run on individual pages. But here I've gone for a more common scenario where I've set it to current post type is not a post. So this script won't run where there are posts, but everywhere else the script will run and disable those styles. And I can show you this in action. So let me just turn this on. It's been used on the site that I'm showing you on the front end and if let's go here to the source code first and we'll go to a section where there's quite a lot of the inline code there and if I do a refresh we should see that this all disappears and it has yeah this stuff is just what I'm going to talk about next which is the emoji stuff and we should see it disappear from here so I'll just refresh here and there it's gone so that's great and let's just check the conditions are working okay i'll refresh that as well 
and we'll get up the source code for this particular post where it should still be running okay we should see the styles and um, we'll go to source code and there we are there's the external file and there's all the inline stuff so that's work so i think you know that's a pretty quick win let's now talk about emojis next so that's the next thing i want to remove i always remove this and i think this works differently depending on the device but what we're seeing here is that it's it's outputting this javascript file a very small one for emojis and then we've got another one for tweet emojis emojis i don't even know what that is but there we are so pretty much 40 kb combined on this but i took a script which i'm using to disable this and the person who i took that from pointed out something which i i think is worth mentioning and that is we can see that this is being generated from what is running over here, a regular expression. And these are running on every page on your WordPress site and regular expressions can slow down on certain low power devices, the performance there. So there's a an additional, albeit small impact there. So it's probably worth getting rid of them. As I've put in my blog post here, I think, this is something you, you probably, most people would just want to get rid of anyway. It was introduced in 2015 and it wasn't that popular anyway because few sites really needed it. And nowadays, most devices support emojis natively. It's not a browser thing, but a device thing. So if you come to this page and you see the emoji here, you'll know that your device supports it uh, because I've disabled it over here. So let's just quickly do that with the code. So if I go back to here, go into my WordPress performance folder, and I'm going to turn this one on. Let's go back to our site and we'll just refresh this. This is global. So we should see these two disappear now. And I just love watching that happen. So that's it. We've got rid of those. Now, if you don't want to use a code snippet, then there is a plugin for this pretty good plugin. Seems to be well supported, which does exactly the same thing. One th really interesting thing about this, I run WP Hive here through an extension here to give me what that site does. It's a service which runs these automatic tests on plugins, really to see the kind of back end resources they use and look out for other errors with plugins. You have to be careful about how you interpret it, but it's quite useful. And one of the fascinating things about this is that. With the plugin when you go and look at the results of this one it's the kind of reverse to what we expect with the plugin we expect them to weigh down our sites in this case we go into minor so it makes your uh, site lighter at least for a logged in user there on that okay so that's that let's go and take the next one now where i want to get rid of jquery migrate this is something again which i just do by default so here it is Again, it's another, because of the way that WordPress works, it comes bundled with jQuery. And that's probably the biggest impact. I'll talk about that next. But Migrate is really just a temporary thing. It's not intended to be in WordPress forever. And the intention is to help developers to migrate to the next version of jQuery when there's been an update to it. In reality, it's really more like a, a backwards compatibility thing for, for authors who don't keep up to date and don't update their plugins with it. But if you're somebody who is you know, running up to date plugins, you know that your the authors who you get your stuff from are likely to do that. Chances are you're not going to need this. And we can just disable this from the front end. So the risk is less. So if if they hadn't updated something using jQuery in the back end, that's not going to be impacted. We're just trying to get rid of this small performance thing. But as with jQuery, it's unlike most javascript it's loaded into the head because that's the way that wordpress works so again it's another thing that gets flagged up as a render blocking resource so it's small so we'll try and get rid of that but let me just go in first with my snippet that i have all ready to go and here it is i put the link in my article to where i got that from and this is working only on the front end so if the author hasn't updated to something that's affecting the back end then we should be okay with this and i've turned it on let's go and see just for the fun of seeing these things disappear okay and it's gone so it just leaves us with these two which are not absolutely necessary oh i should just mention before i do this 
plugin alternative to this. Now, I don't know how good this is. I wouldn't personally worry about the fact that it hasn't been updated recently because it's one of these kind of plugins that's just running a simple script and, and should last all the time. It's just that the author doesn't have the time to go and update it when WordPress updates. But one thing that is quite interesting, again, running the WP Hive tests, we can see yet again that we're uh, in, we're in the plus we get lighter for adding this plugin rather than the other way around but i think just looking at the benchmarks it looks like this unlike the script will run this in the back end as well so maybe there's an extra risk for that so i tend to go for the the snippet anyway for the less risky choice on that okay let's um let's just talk a little bit about jquery now i'm going to do a follow-up video on this one just in terms of creating a javascript free front end for beaver builder users now it's probably foolhardy the thing about this it's the biggest kind of render blocking thing but so much of wordpress relies on it so many plugins do so a uh, contact i think there's only contact form 7 which has removed jquery quite recently and i think you know some other issues have come out of that as well the rest of them pretty much rely on it so it's even if you do kind of try and remove it here it's likely to get put back by the plugin uh, on those particular pages at least and there's some real dangers with it on my theme if i go to the mobile view the little drop down menu for that one is powered because it's working on jquery and that's often the case so i'll talk about this in another video related to beaver builder i mean you might want to watch it just for the interest anyway but i think few people well so i can't really cover that there but you know i've included the script just to remove that and obviously it removes a lot it does seem a little bit unnecessary to me and it is interesting that a lot more voices are talking about the fact that it's not needed in wordpress and you'll notice that the default themes i think since 2020 but certainly the 2022 default wordpress theme doesn't include it so it's jquery free for those okay um and i'll just quickly mention this one which i wouldn't remove you could simply remove it i haven't even included the script to do that one and there won't be a plugin because when that's compressed that's probably going to go down to one kilobyte and it's a simple script which is quite useful which really effectively just says have you loaded those images yet before you can move on it's just a helpful thing so I think that's removed all I'd want to remove, although in the next video, I shall be removing the jQuery from this particular site itself. Okay, there are a couple of other things that might help with performance, but they're mostly associated with security. And let me just go over to that. So some of you might be aware already of the benefits of disabling XML RPC. This is something which is turned on by default in WordPress. And it, it can be useful if you're, say, you want to send by email a blog post to be published. Most people aren't doing that kind of thing. And it's another way in for hackers. And because it's constantly attacked at this, it's it can slow down your performance so it's probably worth doing there is a plugin i think mentioned in this article which i'll be linking to anyway so you can go search that out but what i would do is what they show in here i would add this little script here to all of my sites in the dot ht access file there so that's how i deal with that but why i wanted to mention it a less known thing because the kind of gutenberg and rest api is fairly new to wordpress there is also the same issue coming here with front end endpoints not being needed at all so you could just block those off or disable the rest api from the front end because again it's another thing where i think hackers are going to be attacking it more often and there is a, a, a plugin here again by jeff star that does it as he's pointing out it's just a few short lines of code to be able to do that and this is just working on the front end not on the back end most people will probably be quite safe doing it because i've got plugins that use the rest api and they work fine i just don't need it for visitors at the front end and you can also do this with some code which i've is here and i've also included in my blog post i think that's all i can talk about today thank you so much if you managed to stick with me to the end i really hope to see you in the next video but if not that's fine. I hope to see you in a later video. Anyway, until then, have a really nice day. Goodbye.